Hey folks, how's it going? R&D Diesel here today, and on my 97 Ford with the 7.3 Power Stroke, I recently intercooled it, and the reason I did that was because I put in a set of Stage 1 injectors, and I tuned it as well, and intercoolers just all around better for towing and whatnot. But one of the things that came up to me as a question as I was driving this thing around was that it didn't really seem like I was getting quite the same fuel economy as I was before. Now I suspect that was it's actually probably just because my, my air conditioner is now working and that's going to suck some fuel out as well. But I wondered if it might actually be the intercooler that's causing me to have lower fuel economy. So what I wanted to do was run a test both with and without the intercooler to see if it makes any difference. So let's find out. Okay, so first off, just so you guys know, I've got a 97 Ford F350. It's a four-wheel drive truck. An automatic transmission. I've got a Super Duty 7.3 aluminum intercooler installed. My own <laughs> custom built, if you will, intercooler spider and intercooler charge air tubes. We've got a four inch exhaust out here with a glass pack muffler built out of a 55 gallon barrel. It's got a three inch to a three and a half inch custom built downpipe. And this is the truck that will be running the test on today. So first off, you guys can see I have my homemade intercooler system here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily disconnect this, and I'm going to put back in the original Y that I had so that we can get some measurements of fuel economy without the intercooler, and then we'll repeat the test with the intercooler and see if it makes a difference. Well, I got the original Y pipe back in there on my OBS truck, and now we're going to go ahead Take thing for a spin and see what happens. I'm running this truck without an intercooler right now, and I have this TS six position chip. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that thing back to stock. And for the all intents and purposes of this test, I'm going to keep this thing in stock tuning because I think that's just a, a good baseline to run it. We'll see. Now, in order to get the most accurate measurements and results that we can get, what I'm gonna do is actually fill my diesel fuel tank all the way up to where I can see diesel sitting inside of the filler neck. That way I know for sure that it's going to be consistently filled each time that I, you, I fill it up to check to see how much fuel I consumed. Now in addition to that, this my current city of residence does also have a nice loop around it. So I'm going to follow the same route around the loop and hopefully that will ensure that by taking the same path we can keep a very controlled environment and truly test to see whether the intercooler makes an effect on fuel economy. We're running the truck right now in stock position without an intercooler and so far my exhaust gas temperature seems to be holding steady about 500 and 550 degrees Fahrenheit and that's pretty much on flat ground generally. Transmission temperature is about 121 degrees Fahrenheit. It seems to be pretty much steady state at this point. Now I suspect that whenever I actually hook up the intercooler, it's going to be dumping more heat up into the front of the truck, and that might actually cause my transmission temperature to increase. Now with that, increasing the viscosity of the, or decrease, increasing the temperature of the transmission fluid will actually decrease its viscosity. So I suspect that if anything, that could potentially help with the fuel economy. But we'll see. We're back on the road again here, and I've got the intercooler hooked up to the truck. So far across the board on exhaust gas temperatures, I'm seeing about 50 degrees cooler. But at the end of the day, I think it's good to know that the intercooler actually does do something. Now one thing that is kind of messing up this test a little bit is that it has started raining. Now I suspect that that's going to have an impact on exhaust gas temperatures and actually lowering that because effectively we are increasing the amount of moisture in the air and that's going to lower your exhaust gas temperatures a little bit as well. But we'll see how that pans out on fuel economy. So far everything seems to be working well. My transmission temperature is identical to what it was before. And pretty much everything else is identical except for the exhaust gas temperature being about 50 degrees cooler. Anyways, stay tuned. Well, what I ended up doing was I ran two trials of each. I ran two trials without the intercooler installed and then I ran two trials with the intercooler around, and that's basically taking a loop ar around the entire city. Now, one of the things, too, about my driving style here was I was driving extremely conservatively, and that's where you see I got such high fuel economy, getting nearly you know 19 miles a gallon inside of a 
one-ton diesel four-wheel drive truck I think is pretty impressive. It's also running this thing without air conditioning, keeping it at 65 the whole way, and really driving this thing in a way that I was tr trying to get as best feel of kind as possible. So what that means is I was basically not using the turbo at all. I was building pretty much no boost the whole time. So that might have an impact if you're actually towing. The intercooler might have an effect on fuel economy, but you know, at the end of the day, if you're towing, you probably want to have the intercooler to help control exhaust gas temperatures. So in my findings, I saw that on average I got about 18.5 miles a gallon with no intercooler, and surprisingly I got 19 miles a gallon with the intercooler installed. So according to this, I got about a half mile per gallon better with the intercooler. But I suspect that that's not actually the case. You see, because I was filling up with such a small amount of fuel each time, little you know, 1.3, 1.4 gallons, that even the slightest, the smallest of fluctuation in the amount of fuel I put in, even though I was trying to be as accurate as I could with the uh, filling up to the filler neck all the way, half a mile per gallon difference, it's totally conceivable that that could be simply due to error. At the end of the day, though, I think it's safe to say that the intercooler does not hurt fuel economy. It pretty much is a wash from what I can tell. Again, bearing in mind, though, that I was building basically no boost, and that's it's so the losses from the intercooler are going to be very minimal. The reason why I drove so conservatively is because, well, if I usually drive like you know an old man anyways, because I well, diesel's expensive, and I like to get as best fuel economy as I can. And so I wanted to test this in accordance with my driving style, what I do most of the time. So in conclusion, I don't think the intercooler has any effect on fuel economy, at least in daily driving. Now in accordance with this trying to be a scientific <laughs> measurement, if you guys have any contrary data, something that suggests that intercooler might actually give you better fuel economy, or maybe it's the opposite, maybe you, want to, you are able to try this when you're towing, I'd love to hear about that, and... Please make note of that in the comment box. If you want to make a video too, that would be awesome. But from my results, this is what I found. You guys see what I did for the test. Maybe you can try it out yourselves. But there you go.